Hey guys, I'm Marty and welcome to Cockadoodle Farm. So I know I have not been doing a very good job of getting these videos out, but what we've been doing is trying to grow a company. And when we're trying to grow a company and getting these videos out on a consistent basis, it was just ended up being too much. So I had to put a pause on the video for a little bit so we can concentrate on trying to figure out exactly what we're doing here at Cockadoodle. And the direction that we're end up going, I'm super excited about. So what we're doing is we're trying to create the most convenient way to buy local food online. You see, what we've kind of realized since moving here is that all these local farmers have like a distribution problem. They have products, they just don't know how to get into the hands of consumers. And the same thing with consumers, you know, they want to buy local food, but a lot of them don't have the time to go to the farmer's market to buy the local food. So what we're doing with Cockadoodle is we're trying to solve both of those problems by creating an online marketplace to connect those farmers to the consumers that want to buy from them. The problem is, is that there's way more demand for eggs than we have supply. So we need more eggs. So the other day when we were at the Labor Day parade, Mary Kate was notified of a farm that was looking to get rid of hens that were just about to start to lay eggs. The problem is, is that she wanted to get rid of those hens on Wednesday, which was in three days. So Mary Kate looked at my dad and I and said, you know that old hay wagon that we bought last year? Do you think you can turn that into a chicken coop in two days? So we looked at each other and we're like, yeah, I think we can do that. So right after we got home from the parade, we started working on getting this chicken coop ready with the challenge of having it ready in two days. And this is that story. So in typical bootstrap farmer style, we tried to use whatever we had around the farm to create this. My dad had these old panels, which were used for an indoor fridge. We thought we'd make the walls with these guys. And that was all the farther I got by the time it was the day to go pick up the chickens. All right, so with Kate gone, getting the chickens, I've got to finish up this hoop house. I've got like three hours and Marilyn's here and I have to bring her to school. All right, wish me luck. You got scissors? Yes. Alright. Is that better? But her hair is keep on doing it. No, just try to make it wet again and brush it. No, I did get it wet. But it's not working. Maybe to put a braid in it again. No, that's not good. No. So I'm at the farm. 
farm waiting for the people to come for us to load up our trailer with chickens. Got my farmer gear on so I don't get scratched by a bunch of chickens. Anymore. That's what that's what it means. For real? Yeah. That's what it is. Hmm? It's what it is. I don't think so. Is it done? A little bit more. Let me know when it's all done. Let's go down this foot. All right, Kate just texted me. She's almost home. It's not quite ready yet. I failed. It's pretty darn close though. I think Kate is just gonna have to help me put the chicken wire around so they can't get out. Obviously the roof needs a little bit of attention, but it's not supposed to rain here for the next couple days, so that's all right. Then we just gotta put the pine shavings in, water, food, and I think we'll get him, I think we'll get him in here pretty quick. She's back. Hi. Hey. You feel like a farmer? Yeah. Did you get a lot of interesting looks on the road? I don't think so. But I was, I just kept on looking at the chickens. That one doesn't have any hair on his neck. <laughs> That's a turkey. It's like a Turkish turkey hen. <laughs> the uh, steel, the yellow ones, I make it way easier. Oh, do they? Thanks for telling me now. Welcome.
All right, so there it is, the finished beautiful product. Well, it's not finished or beautiful actually, but it is very functional and the chickens seem to enjoy it, so I guess that's all that matters. So I have this fence out here for them so they're able to get to pasture. I'm gonna do a lot more experimenting with fencing and trying to figure out how we can give the chickens the most amount of freedom on pasture while still protecting them from the predators and the elements. So a lot of experimenting to do on our farm here. Um, but I think we're off to a good start.